Hello, this is Dominic Parkinson. I work with Iona Foster on her IT and CAD for her practice. I've put together a spreadsheet here illustrating some of the ways that uh, a typical small practice might want to manage their data on projects and accounts. There are many ways of doing this. You might want to use an off-the-shelf package. In my opinion, that doesn't give you the flexibility that you get from a spreadsheet solution. So here is a spreadsheet solution uh, which you might want to use uh, as is or adapt it um, for your own practice. This is at ionafoster.com forward slash small practice management and you need a Google account to be able to see this Google Drive document. When you get to the document you need to copy it because it's uh, that's a shared online template so make a copy I won't do that because um, I'll use this one for myself here. If you're thinking of using these, please do click to be informed of updates to this template because that way I'll be able to let you know um, whether there are any improvements and you can vice versa, you can give me feedback on what needs improving and we can make this product better. The Google Drive spreadsheet comprises a lot of separate sheets they are tabbed at the bottom here on this small window you can't see them all at once but they're all there um, so for example here let's start with the staff sheet and here are the various members of staff you can type in the uh, the, the salary there and um, in throughout these sheets there's a lot of formulae that interconnect between different sheets so for example from the salary uh, the timesheet um, sheet will uh, if there's a record in the timesheet saying that Dave Drake has done three hours of work um, some of the figures will get pulled out based on this figure of his salary how many hours per month he works and so on projects you'll be wanting to keep track of your projects I'd propose I'd suggest that you also keep track of uh, projects that you have not uh, that you've pitched for but not one so you can see keep track of your your hit rate on that there are there's a lot that you'd want to typically track to do with a project um, some of them are fairly basic like budget some of them are a bit more detailed to do with the the stages at which the dates at which you've uh, reached certain stages in the project again there's a lot of interconnections here the expected budget is, we'll see later how that is uh, referred to by a sheet later on which um, creates fee proposals. And that fee proposal sheet also uses these standard um, stages, stage fee percent, which you may want to change at this point here if you have a slightly different um, typical stage fee percent you could change it here just make sure it always adds up to 100 which uh, will be checked if you change it to something else timesheet whenever somebody does any work you may want to uh, be able to keep track of that to see how much work a particular member of staff is doing or how much time or nominally fees are being um, being put into a particular project so if somebody does some work you might want to uh, note who's done it what project date hours these gray cells in this case are being pulled out automatically from other sheets description and so on cash flow you could use this kind of sheet for a, a simple kind of tax accounting and internal accounting system um, each transaction has a, a date and some some basic information including um, the employee code related to that the project code related to that and again this can be pulled out by some report sheets later on to see how much um, cash flow you're, you're expending on certain staff or projects. The monthly budget sheet shows 
some historic and future figures, you will almost certainly be wanting to predict your future cash flow. And you can do that here. This compares it with the actual cash flow taken from the cash flow sheet here. That's in grey because it's calculated from that. So it's slave data, but you can compare with what your predictions were. And this is a chart of the same data specify the start and end dates and it comes up there to see how close your predictions are to being uh, pr uh, accurate and useful. Then we have some report sheets which take their data from previously entered data. Here you simply have to uh, type in the start and end date and you get a report on um, the cash flow transactions within those two parameters. Similarly, timesheet by project, you specify the, the project that you're talking about and uh, the dates, and it comes out with uh, the relevant uh, transactions. Timesheet by employee, similarly. Here, there are some cash flow accounting categories which appear in a pull down list in the cash flow sheet. This is these these are very specific but they're quite useful if you're going to be using this for tax purposes. For example, this is the HMRC self assessment tax category. So when you enter a transaction, if on the pull down list you pick one of these, you will then find it quite easy to do the tax return at the end of the year. Uh, because it'll already or every transaction will already be in a uh, relevant category. The final sheet in this spreadsheet is the fee proposal template. If you pull down um, from here to find the any particular project, uh, these other cell, the grey cells, will be automatically populated based on the other sheets that we looked at earlier. Uh, the budget and so on is picked out from the project sheet. These stages are picked out from the, the fee stages sheet that we looked at earlier. It also uses this cell which is uh, uses these reserved words in square brackets to, to show this would be replaced by a salutation like dear Fred um, to create this kind of thing which is a, a as a kind of basic text which you might find useful when making a fee proposal. Um, there's a lot of donkey work involved with uh, translating a budget into all the, the fee percent stages which is not fun to do on a case-by-case -case basis so you might want to use this copy paste into an email to send to your client and just change some of the details like it was nice to see you last Thursday I'm very excited by this project um, based on this automatically generated text here. I hope that some of this has given you some pointers on how you might want to use data um, to track your projects and accounts. Um, please get in touch if you're interested in using this spreadsheet, which you are very welcome to do uh, for free. Thank you. Bye.